who is the most gracious and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum students and a very good morning to all of you. Students, as you already know that we are doing grammar nowadays. So today we are going to do worksheet number 14 that is figures of speech. But before taking a start of this topic, I would like to clarify one thing that what are figures of speech? Figures of speech are basically used in literature or it is a common usage that emphasizes and create the impression of both written and spoken language. There are many types of figures of speech that are simile, metaphor, personification, imagery, and alliteration. Here comes the first type of figures of speech that is simile. Now let's understand what is simile. A simile makes a comparison between two things. We can create a comparison by using two words as or like. For example, Tom is as funny as a monkey. Here, Tom is compared with a monkey by using the word as. As funny as a monkey because monkey is already known for its funny acts. Number second example is the well was dry like a bone. Now, the well is compared with the bone because bone is already dry. It is known for its dryness. The well was dry like a bone. Here you can focus on the word like. Number third, he is as brave as a loin. Now, we already know loin is known for its bravery. So, I am comparing him with a loin. He is as brave as a loin. Number fourth, she is like a doll. Number fifth, he is as strong as an ox. Let's move to the second type of figures of speech that is metaphor. What is metaphor? A metaphor makes a hidden comparison between two things. It means that we are going to give a direct quality to that thing. For example, life is a journey. The assignment was a breeze. He is a loin. She is a doll. Now let's move to the third type of figures of speech that is personification. Let's understand and let's discuss what is personification. Personification is a figure of speech in which a thing, an idea or an animal is given human attributes. Human attributes mean human qualities. For example, the sky weeps. Here, just focus on the word weeps. Who used to weep? Of course, it is a human quality. So, I am going to assign this quality to the non-living thing that is sky. The sky weeps. Number two, the wind whispered to the dry grass. Here, again focus on whispered. Who used to whisper? Of course, humans used to whisper. So, I am going to assign this quality to the wind. So, it will be the wind whispered to dry grass. Example number three, the flowers are dancing in cool breeze. Here again focus on the word dancing. Now I am going to assign this quality to the non-living thing that is the flowers. The flowers are dancing in cool breeze. Number last example is the fire swallowed the entire forest, entire whole forest. So focus on the word swallowed. Who used to swallow? Of course, it is a living quality. So, I am going to assign it to the non-living thing that is fire. So, the fire swallowed the entire forest. I hope you have understood the word concept of personification that what is basically personification is. Let's move to the second last type of figures of speech that is imagery. Let us define it first. Imagery is language used by poets, novelists and other writers 
to create images in the mind of the readers here some examples are quoted in front of you in which you are going to focus that what is imagery it is dark and shadowy in the forest now you can see the word dark and shadowy the both words are creating an impression in your mind they are creating an image in your mind that the forest was very dark it was gloomy and shadowy number second example is the children were screaming and yelling in the fields now screaming and yelling of course it creates an image that they were shouting i saw cool and shady trees in the village now cool and shady trees it creates again an image in your mind that the trees in the village were cool and shady last example is the fresh and juicy orange is very cold and sweet here fresh and juicy and cold and sweet the both words are creating an imagery here is the last type of figures of speech in front of you that is alliteration what is alliteration alliteration is the repetition of initial consonant sounds used especially in poetry to create pleasing musical sounds initial consonant sounds mean initial the beginning the first the first consonant sound for example shut the shudder before it makes you shudder here sh sh sound is being repeated so it is alliteration number 2 come and clean your closet here k k and k sound is basically the alliteration it is being repeated number 3 go and gather the green leaves in the garden g g sound is being repeated so the sound is alliteration last is the gentle joint jumped with joy here you can see a musical sound is being repeated right after interval at it is creating a very good impression so it is an alliteration assalamu alaikum dear students and i welcome you all towards the second part of worksheet 14 that is figures of speech in the first part we had discussed all the definitions and the types of figures of speech now it's the time to solve all the activities together so students be mentally alert and prepared and get ready to solve all the activities under the heading of figures of speech Now students here comes the first activity in front of you in this activity we are going to underline all the similes from the given poem and afterwards we are going to write the compare things in the box I am reading the poem in front of you My dragon has eyes as round as dinner plates as round as dinner plates of course it is simile so underline it It has sharp teeth like daggers like daggers underline it its mouth is dark and wide like a cave like a cave of course it is a simile so please underline it students it has claws which are as pointed as needles as pointed as needles underline it its nose lets out plumes of smoke like a chimney like a chimney underline it its body is as huge as an ocean whale as huge as an ocean whale underline it students its tail flicks from the side to side like it's an angry cat it sits silently waiting to catch its prey like it's an angry cat so of course it is a simile so please underline it here is the other part of activity number 1 you can see two columns in front of you first column is truly based on simile as all the underlined words all the underlined similes we are going to write in this column and we are going to write the compared things in the other column as the first one i am reading in front of you as round as dinner plates so in this line eyes are being compared with the plates like a chimney 
here nose is compared with the chimney like daggers of course it is a simile and here teeth are being compared with daggers like a cave here mouth is being compared with the cave as pointed as needles here claws are being compared with needles and as huge as an ocean whale here body is being compared with the whale like an angry cat here tail is being compared with an angry cat so students you are going to write it as it is written in front of you here comes the second activity in front of you in which we are going to pick out the metaphors from the given story and the story's title is the haircut when i woke up on saturday mom said i was a sheep dog with my long shaggy hair and it was a time for me to get my hair cut here sheep dog is usually used for a person who looks weird due to untidy look of hair and dress so we are going to underline the word sheep dog because it is a metaphor when i looked at her she was a zebra half hidden behind the drapes of my evergreen banks i could not help it i laughed she was right my hair to be cut here students you are going to underline the word zebra because it is a metaphor as his mom was looking like a zebra because his front hair had covered with his forehead and from the open sections of his hair she was looking like a zebra now let's move to the second para the barber's chair was a tower here the word tower means very high so you are going to underline this word and he pumped it higher and higher i didn't really mind i was an explorer underline the word explorer as the word means discovering with his own self as we explore by own self so we will be explorer so underline this word looking at the world in a whole new way the pieces of the hair on the floor were an exotic carpet of a strange brown fibers that crisscrossed in a crazy pattern exotic carpet you are going to underline students because the floor was covered with his black hair and it was looking like a carpet now the other word crazy pattern underline it which means that uh, making of different and weird shapes let's move to the next line the floor was an odd new planet i was an astronaut looking down from the above here two words are metaphors kindly underline them odd new planet and astronaut odd new planet means a strange looking new place and astronaut we all know that a person who travels in space outside the earth the barber pumped the chair again and i was a rocket rocket means of course we already know weight moves to the above sky or we used to send it the people use scientists used to send it we all know very well the meaning of rocket i could not believe the adventure was very soon let's read the last para on the way home we stopped at the store to buy smooth milk unfortunately there were was some amazing sale going on at the time we were tiny fish tiny fish means a small fish or a small creature swimming in a sea of people sea of people you are going to underline it and tiny fish also you are going to underline because these are the metaphor sea of people means a huge crowd of people i could not wait to get off there and go home the drive home was a frustrating experience because the holiday traffic had turned the street into a parking lot here parking lot you are going to underline which means a place fixed for public parking number last line is i hope it's a long time before i am a sheep dog again sheep dog or i already mentioned it students so kindly underline the word here comes the third activity in front of you in which we are going to identify the imagery and alliteration in the given sentences and we are going to write them 
Number one is the night was black as ever, but bright stars lit up the sky. Here are the two words you are going to underline black and bright. Both words are creating an image in your mind, so it is an imagery. Number two, please put your pen and play the piano. Here you can see the repetition of same sound that is per sound, so it is an alliteration. Number three, the girl ran her hands on a soft satin fabric. Soft word you are going to underline, of course it is an imagery. Number four, the fragrance of spring flowers made her joyful. S fragrance of spring, underline them. Now it is an imagery. Write it. Number five, the stone fell with a splash in the lake. Splash. Splash word is creating an image, so it is an imagery. Number six, go and gather the green leaves in the garden. See the repetition of sound? Of course, it is an alliteration. Number seven, the baron was busy as a bee. B, B sound is being repeated, so it is an alliteration. Number eight, Kim comes to the cut colorful kites. K, K sound is being repeated, so it is an alliteration. Number nine, the fresh and juicy orange is very cold and sweet. Fresh, juicy, cold, sweet. Underline these words. These are creating an image, so it is an imagery. Number 10. Boil the butter and bring it by the bank. Here, see the repetition of sound, consonant sound. So it is alliteration. Underline it. Here comes the fourth activity in which we are going to replace a simile and metaphor in the given lines and sentences. When the sentence is in metaphor, we are going to change it in simile by using the word like. And whenever there is a simile, we are going to remove the word like and we are going to make it a metaphor. First sentence is, the pen is a sword. Let's make it simile. The pen is like a sword. Number two, she is like a fish in the water. Now, it's a simile. Let's change it into metaphor. She is fish in the water. Number three, he is as smart as a cookie. Now, let's remove the words as he is a cookie. Here is a metaphor in front of you. Number four, my mom is rose. So, let's add the word like. It will be simile. As I'm mentioning in front of you, my mom is like a rose. Number five, John is cheetah. Now, it's a metaphor. Let's change it. John is like a cheetah. Number six, she is a witch. Of course, let's change it into simile. She is like a witch. Her stare was like eyes. Her stare was eyes. We are going to remove the word like. Number eight, laughter is the music of the soul. Now let's uh, add the word like and let's make it simile. Laughter is like the music of the soul. Here comes the last and a very interesting activity of figures of speech in which we are going to write a sentence that shows personification. The first word is lightning. Lightning danced across the sky. Here, focus on the word danced. The word danced is telling a living quality that is being assigned to the non-living thing. That is sky. Number two, car. The car complained as the key was turned. Here, focus on the word complained. It is a living quality. So, we are going to assign it to non-living thing. So, that why it is called personification. Number three, mountain. Mountain groaned at the people walking over it. Groaned. Groaning. It is a living quality. Number four, stare. The moon was staring at me in dark night. Number five, wind. The wind howled in the night. Number six, flowers. The flowers were fluttering in the cool breeze. Number seven, waves. The furious waves were hitting the rocks.
Dear students, I really hope that you have understood the concept of figures of speech, its types, and its explanation of activities. Now, it's the turn to assign you the diary. And your diary is, you are going to fill all the activities with the help of pictures provided in PDF. Try to do your work in attractive and beautiful handwriting. And afterwards, you are going to learn all the activities and the definitions under the heading of worksheet number 14, that is figure of speech. Thank you.